What makes this county unique? Lots of places to find beauty here. We have the mountains, we have the ocean. Got the perfect mixture of, of everything you can need. And that's why we're here. What do you think it says about Clallam County that it's the only one in the entire country that's correctly chosen the president every cycle since 1980? Well, I would have to say that they just have good insight. I think that's pretty remarkable. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of uh, it. It's a difficult question to answer or even fathom to figure out. That's why you're here. From Reagan to Biden, a majority of Clallam County voters have picked the president. That's six Republicans, five Democrats, a streak unmatched by the other 3,142 counties in the U.S. Dumbfounded and stumped as anyone else. Hi, guys. We visited Rain Shadow Cafe in Squim. So it's the cheers of coffee, you know, the place where everybody knows your name. Not quite a red city, not quite a blue one. And you certainly see signs equally for everyone. A town that votes like the color of its favorite flower. Why do you think this area is this moderate melting pot? Well, we have people here from a lot of places. We have a lot of retirees here in Squim. But there's still those blue collar roots. Clallam County was built on the marine industry in Port Angeles, agriculture in Squim, and logging in Forks. You know, this was some of the largest timber in the country. It was out here on the Olympic Peninsula. The archives at the North Olympic History Center give us a peek inside. Deep history, yeah. Executive Director David Browning says the driver of the economy here has shifted over time. You know, this was a big mill town, and so sequentially those mills have slowly shut down. You've seen a real growth, a continued growth in, in tourism. The county's biggest towns are nestled between the Olympic Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. The county skews older and poorer than the national average. It's overwhelmingly white with a higher than average Native American community and a growing Latino population. If you kind of put things on a map, it, it kind of trends from kind of purple in the east end of the county out to, to red out west, but there's a ton of exceptions to that. As industries have shifted, their bellwether status hasn't. Maybe they look at those issues that they care about more than any particular candidate or party. Voting based on values and not just necessarily political alignment. Of the remaining 19 bellwether counties since 1980, in 2020, all but Clallam picked Trump. That's that just amazing. What would you say is your number one issue in this election? The economy and just the way things are going. Um, everything is pretty expensive right now. For us would probably be housing. My number one issue is women's rights. I'm very military oriented. Affordable housing and childcare. The right for women to choose. What do you think the country could learn from Clallam County? Oh gosh. More caring, more kind, more generous, more giving. And understanding that even if you don't agree with the person who lives next door to you, that doesn't make them a bad person. And that there's probably a lot more that you see eye to eye on. How to slow down and enjoy Life. And I'm trying to think of what you're trying to think. What are we going to do this year? That's the question on everyone's mind. And the fact that no one knows is why the nation is watching Clallam County. Drew Andre, King 5 News.